Dear learners, in my first lecture on photosynthesis, I gave you an overview of the whole process of photosynthesis. In today's lecture and the subsequent lectures, I will take deeper into the mechanisms, structure and processes related uh, to photosynthesis. To start with, today we are going to discuss the site of photosynthesis, that is where photosynthesis occurs. Photosynthesis takes place in an organelle called as chloroplast that is found in uh, the mesophyll cells. Let me draw the structure of chloroplast. According to an endosymbiotic theories, the chloroplasts uh, were originally prokaryotes and somehow about 1 billion years ago they invaded the eukaryotic cells. Uh, this is evident from a circular form of DNA that is found in chloroplast and that is also uh, found in prokaryotes today. So if we talk about the structure of chloroplast, we have an outer membrane, then there is an inner membrane, And between these two membranes is space called as intermembrane space. This outer membrane or envelope, outer envelope is uh, freely permeable to the transport of molecules. Whereas this inner membrane is only selectively permeable to the uh, transport of molecules like sugars and then we have a third membrane system that is uh, called as thylakoids thylakoids thylakoid literally means little sacs. So this is the most striking feature of the structure of chloroplast. Outside this thylakoid is an aqueous medium called as stroma. As I said that thylakoid is the most striking uh, feature of the structure of chloroplast. It is an uh, elaborately folded system of photosynthetic membranes. These uh, little flattened vesicles house uh, protein complexes for light driven reactions and uh, for energy transduction. So thylakoids are the site of light reaction whereas stroma is the site of dark reaction or carbon reaction. Stroma contains water soluble enzymes uh, which play their role uh, in dark reaction or carbon reaction. These thylakoids as you see here
can be further divided into uh, two domains. One is the stacked region. Here you see the stacked region that is called as grammar. Its plural is grammar. And here you see the uh, non stacked region that is called as stroma lamina. So these are grana and uh, which are interconnected, the stacks of grana are interconnected by non uh, oppressed regions in which stacking is absent. absent. That is called as stroma lamina. So these thylakoids uh, have protein complexes uh, for light devil reaction. There are four uh, transmembrane proteins and two mobile carriers. The inside space of these uh, thylakoids is called as lumen. So this is called as Lumen. Uh, this is a highly important region uh, because on this side the oxygen evolving complex is located which uh, breaks down water into electrons, proton and oxygen. Moreover this lumen is impermeable to uh, protons so it does not allow the escape of protons by itself. Uh, due to this property, the, there is an accumulation of protons uh, which can uh, be moved to the stromal side only with the help of uh, another complex called as ATP synthase which allows the synthesis of ATP. Chloroplast also has its own DNA, RNA and ribosomes. So thylakoids membrane for down here simply this is a thylakoid membrane. It has uh, four transmembrane protein complexes. We have this photosystem 2 then we have Cytochrome B6F complex and then we have photosystem 1. For system 1 was discovered first, uh, so it is called as photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 was discovered after photosystem 1 that is why it is called as photosystem 2. But in the electron transport chain, the photosystem 2 comes first. And these two photosystems are connected by cytochrome B6. F complex and then we have two mobile carriers called as plasto hydroquinones and plastocyan. Which which are electron carriers, they are mobile so they can move between these complexes. 
this is the lumen side and this is the stromal side and we have the fourth important complex here that is called as ATP synthase this ATP synthase allows uh, the synthesis of ATP under a proton motive force or under a concentration gradient of uh, protons Photosystem 2 is uh, located in the grana whereas photosystem 1 and ATP synthase are concentrated in the unstacked regions of lomeni and cytochrome B6F complex is evenly distributed between grana and lamina. During the process of photosynthesis, the energy from sunlight is converted first to electrical energy and then to chemical energy. that is stored in organic molecules ATP and NADP. Then using that chemical energy we reduce carbon dioxide to sugars. So ultimately the energy from sunlight is stored in chemical bonds of sugar molecules. And the key to understanding the electron transport chain in the process of photosynthesis is the presence of two large multimolecular protein pigment complexes called as photosystem. We have two photosystems called as photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. These two photosystems are interconnected by small proteins called as cytochromes. Cytochromes are intrinsic uh, membrane proteins which are embedded in the thylakoids and they cannot uh, be removed from the thylakoids without destroying them. Uh, they contain a cofactor heme which holds an iron atom. So this iron atom uh, cycles between oxidation states plus 2 and plus 3 and can serve as uh, electron carrier in this electron transport chain from photosystem 2 to photosystem 1. The other electron carriers are plastoquinones and plastocyanin. These are, uh, unlike cytochrome, these are uh, relatively mobile. Plastoquinone, when it receives an electron, is converted into PQH2 and moves to cytochrome B6F complex, where it is oxidized. Uh, donating its electron to cytochrome B6F complex and during this process uh, it also moves hydro uh, protons from uh, stroma to the lumen side. Plastocyanin is a small protein uh, which contains uh, copper atom. This uh, copper atom can hold electrons. So this also uh, a mobile carrier which can move over short distances and it takes electrons from cytochrome B6F complex and delivers to photosystem 1. As I told 
that photosystem is a protein pigment complex. Pigment is any molecule that uh, absorbs certain wavelengths more than the other wavelengths. And in biological system, we associate them with a specific biological function. For example, chlorophyll A molecules can better absorb blue and red wavelengths of light and they play their role in electron transport chains. Other pigments uh, impart a specific color to certain plant parts like petals, uh, uh, which helps in attracting pollinators or to avoid predators. These pigments uh, do not occur at random in the photosystem. They are held by specific, uh, they are held in place by proteins called as light harvesting complex proteins. These are light harvesting complex proteins are also embedded in the thylakoid membranes. The, the uh, main objective of this photosystem is to extract electrons, low energy electrons from water by using the energy trap by chlorophylls and then raising the energy of those uh, low energy electrons of water to high energy state and using uh, that high energy and carrying it between different carriers ultimately we produce NADPH and some of this energy is used to produce to uh, transport protons and under a uh, proton motive force or under a concentration gradient of protons uh, using ATP synthase uh, we can also produce ATP or adenosine triphosphate. The photosystem, the entire set of 300 <coughs> chlorophylls, carotenoids, and proteins is called as antenna complex. So it has 300 chlorophylls. Carotenoids, which are accessory pigments and proteins. This antenna complex was more or less like an antenna absorbing uh, light energy from sun and then passing it to another structure called as reaction center. This reaction center has a special pair of chlorophyll molecules, special pair of chlorophyll A molecules called as a reaction center pair of chlorophyll molecules. These are called special pairs or special because only uh, that pair can donate electrons required for converting light energy into electrical energy uh, during the process of light reaction or during electron transport chain. Let's now differentiate the two photosystems, photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. The bulk of chlorophyll in in the photosystems functions as antenna absorbing energy from sunlight transferring uh, energy through the process of uh, resonance or radiationless energy transfer from one molecule to the other ultimately delivering it to the reaction center special pair of chlorophyll A molecules which can then donate electron uh, which are accepted by primary electron acceptor and then they enter an electron transport chain through various carriers they are delivered first to photosystem uh, 1 and which can 
reduce NADP to NADPH. Let's talk about the main differences between two four systems for system one and for system two. As I said that four systems are large multi-molecular protein pigment complexes. So for the system one has 18 subunits and for the system two has 31 individual subunits. The reaction center chlorophyll special pair absorbs uh, best at 700 nanometer in uh, for system one. Uh, so that is why for system one is also called as P700, special pair of chlorophyll molecule in the reaction center or reaction center chlorophyll molecules in photosystem 1 preferentially absorb a light of wavelength 700 nanometer. So that is why photosystem 1 is called P700, whereas in photosystem 2 it absorbs preferentially 680 nanometer uh, wavelength light. So photosystem 2 is called as P680. The primary electron acceptor when an a chlorophyll molecule absorbs uh, energy in the reaction center, uh, it enters an excited state. It means it can uh, donate its electrons. And then when it has donated its uh, electron, they are accepted by a primary electron acceptor which is Q python in case of photosystem 2 and a naught, which is another type of chlorophyll in for system 1. Q pyrrhyl uh, is uh, similar to chlorophyll except that it lacks magnesium atom instead of magnesium it has two hydrogens. And uh, when for system 2 has donated its electrons to the primary electron acceptor Q pyrrhyl then now it is hungry for electron. It is deficient in electrons. So where does it replenish its electrons from? For system two, will then oxidize water to elect uh, to extract weak uh, or low energy electrons from water. So the source of <coughs> electron in for system two is water. Whereas the source of electron in for system one is for system two. Because these electrons, which are first accepted by a few fighters, ultimately reach for system 1 uh, through the electron uh, transport carriers like uh, plastoquinone, cytochrome B6F complex, and plastocyanide. For system 1 has uh, less chlorophyll B, so chlorophyll A to B ratio is. 4 over 1, whereas in photosystem 2 it has relatively high levels of chlorophyll B and chlorophyll A to B ratio is 1.2. As we discussed before, that photosystem 2 is uh, photosystem 2 and photosystem 1 are especially separated in the thylakoids. Photosystem 2 is liquidated uh, on the side of granular thylakoids. Whereas for system 1 is located in stroma lung. So this is all about the, the site of photosynthesis, the uh, ultrastructure structure of chloroplast, uh, why light reaction takes place uh, in thylakoids, uh, and I hope you will be able to understand that why dark reaction takes place in stroma and uh, you should also be able to understand the structure of photosystem, uh, the role of cytochromes uh, and mobile carriers, plastoquinones and plastocyanin and you should be able to differentiate between the two photosystems that is photosystem 2 and photosystem 1. These chloroplasts uh, can respond to 
the external environmental conditions by altering their their uh, concentration of proteins or uh, pigments and they can move around uh, in the cell uh, through the process of uh, cytoplasmic streaming or what is called as cyclosis and in this way they can uh, adapt to conditions of low light or high light.